I had a brother email me, he wanted to know about, he wanted me to let the people know about not eating pork. He wanted them to know that they shouldn't do that, that it was contrary now. Quick, if you will, don't give me um, First Timothy chapter four and verse one. Let's see what the Spirit says. Isn't that right? We know according to the Old Testament, Amen. When God gave them the Ten Commandments, that God did give them. They had more than just those Ten Commandments; they had other laws. And in no law that God gave them in the Book of Leviticus, God gave them certain creatures they were not to eat. Amen. Certain things that didn't chew the cud. Isn't that right? Amen. And the swine was one of them. Catfish, anything that didn't have fin or scales. And it had to have fin and scales in order for you to eat it. That was your fin. That would be your shrimp. That would be your crab legs, your lobsters, all these different things. According to the law that God gave them, they were not supposed to eat it. But I'm going to go back and show you when God told them they were going to be able to eat it and they were under the law. Amen. But first, let's see what the apostles said. That's what we teach. We are we teach and preach the apostles' doctrine. Amen. According to Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, at verse 42, they continue steadfastly in the apostle doctrine. That's right. This is the book. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly. A whole lot of people, somebody speaking, but it's not the Spirit of God. That's how we know the Spirit of error. This is the book. That in the latter times, What's gonna happen, son? some shall depart from the faith. Doing what? Giving heed to seducing spirits and, what else? and doctrines of devil. Yeah, I mean, speaking lies. That's all these folks. Every time they tell you the word of God is not right, Paul should have said that. Peter was wrong. The people, you the lie, did not Paul, not Peter. Yeah. They're speaking lies and what else? Speaking lies and hypocrisy. Hypocrisy, that's all. You're a hypocrite. You state the contrary. Listen. Having their conscience seared with a hot iron. What's wrong with a person after they hear the word of God, rightly divided and taught to them, and they still sit around and say they don't believe it? Their conscience seared with a hot iron. Forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meat. What religion you know that's telling men not to marry? Catholicism. The Catholic religion is sitting around teaching a man not to get a wife, and they're saying they're giving you this from the Bible. No Bible never taught that. Aaron, after Melchizedek. Aaron was the first priest that we know that was when it was given down the Levitical priesthood was given to them under the law. Right. Aaron had to have sons. If Aaron wasn't married, how did they get them? Right. If they wanted to be married, how were they going to get sons and daughters? How did the Levitical priesthood even continue on? It was always passed down to their sons. Right. Where is their teaching coming from? Amen. But nobody's going to say nothing about it. Because you know what? People are going to stay in things that are contrary and still think they're doing the will of God. It takes clean preachers to stand on the wall and tell these people what it takes to be saved. Amen. Come on, son. We're going to walk the dog for him. Come on, son. And commanding to abstain from meats. Which what? Which God hath created to be received with thanksgiving. To what? To of them which believe and know the truth. You believe and know the truth and got the Holy Ghost. You know what? You can eat anything. See, look, what was key? He said to be received to them that believe and know the truth. This is what creature he said was good. For every creature of God is good. If this good is not the same good that's in Genesis, when God created everything, he said was good and very good. Amen. It's the same good. Spell the same way. G-O-O-D. Too old if I said three, throw the other one out. Amen. Isn't that right? This, this is the same good. For every creature of God is what? Is good. And what you need to refuse, the dietary law. And nothing to be refused. What you going to do with this? How can you take this scripture and still sit around and say a person is damned if they sit around and they eat pork? You're doing contrary doctrine. Hear me talk. Amen. How are you going to get around it? For every piece of God is good. And nothing to be refused. If it be what? If it be received with thanksgiving. And what else? For it is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. When you pray over it, don't you know God sanctified which he'll make it holy? Amen. When Peter fell in a trance. In the 10th chapter of the book of Acts of the Apostles, when he went to see Cornelius, Amen. he said, I would lay down to him a sheet knitted at the four corners. Amen. He had every kind of bird and creeping thing. That's right. And the Lord told him, Arise, say it. Peter said, Not so, but nothing ain't clean or color has ever entered into my body. That's right. God said, What I clean, let no man call common or unclean. Amen. When you pray and say, when you pray, when you by the Spirit of God, the Holy Ghost sanctified. Amen. I can sanctify a pack of ribs, some chitlins. Isn't that right? A Amen. pork chop sandwich, crab legs. Isn't that right? That's right. And lost it just like you can be. Amen. Through the word of God. Not my interpretation, the word of God. Amen.
Listen at First Timothy four and about four. Amen. Listen to the book. For every creature of God is good, and nothing to be refused. That's a lot higher than what I want, but we'll hit it down. Okay. Literally saying, nothing to be refused if it be received with thanksgiving. Uh huh. For it is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. Uh huh. You know these folks, they're going to tell you now. Hold on, run over there. He had to let me get it for a reason. They'd run on that. They said right there. See, God said you can eat whatever you want. You can't eat whatever you want. said right now see god said you can eat whatever you want you can't eat whatever you want you believe and know the truth and got the holy ghost you know what you can eat anything because he gave them a dietary law Amen. if there were the truth that he was saying every creature of god was good the way people are taking it and you can eat anything peter had no reason to deny eating them unclean things in the tip child of book acts Let no man go common or unclean. Amen. He had no reason to die now when God told him to ride, stay, eat. He said, Not so, Lord. Nothing of common and clean has never entered into my vessel. Amen. Whole lot of things we didn't know in it. Crab a whole lot of things. That's why it's so high and high down. A lot of that stuff shrimp kill you. Because that's not in our diet. Right. And you know, folks look around. They wonder why black folks sit around and suffer so much. Because a lot of us derive from being the Hebrew people. And our children weren't designed. God serving a people from the other nation. Right. Listen to the book. If thou put the brethren in remembrance of these things, what shall be? Thou shalt be a good minister of uh, Jesus Christ. I'm a He said, put him in remembrance of these things. That's right. So you'll be a good minister. Amen. Listen to the book. Nourished up in the words of faith and of good doctrine. That's why you can see if a man got the right doctrine. That's right. He got understanding on this. Right. That, if, if he's going to be nourished up in a good ministry, he know this. He don't know this. He's still a good preacher. No. Say what the book say. No. Somebody speaking, but it's not the spirit of God. That's how we know the spirit of error. Listen to the book. That's all these folks tell you. Every time they tell you the word of God is not right, Paul should have said that. Peter was wrong. The people, you the lie, you're not Paul, not Peter. God said, well, I clean, let no man call common or unclean. Amen. If this good is not the same good that's in Genesis, when God created everything, he said it was good and very good. Amen. It's the same good, smell the same way. G O O D. Too old if I said three, throw the other one out. Amen. Isn't that right? This, this is the same good for every creature God is what? Is good. And what you need to refuse, the dietary law. And nothing to be refused. What you gonna do with this? How can you take this scripture and still sit around and say a person is damned if they sit around and they eat pork? You're doing contrary doctrine. 